Although the biological purpose of many alkaloids is still not clearly understood, scientists have determined that many play a role in defense as insecticides or insect repellents. In mammals, these compounds display a wide range of pharmacological properties, including stimulant or depressant action on the central nervous system, and some even produce hallucinogenic effects. On the other hand, some alkaloids like conine and physostigmine are deadly poisons. Here, some of the different classes of medically relevant alkaloids produced by plants will be discussed. Alkaloids are a group of naturally occurring compounds, and most of them share a common feature of containing a cyclic nitrogen. Now, while most contain one such nitrogen, there are exceptions that can contain up to five, such as ergotamine. They are produced not only by certain plants, but also some bacteria, fungi, and animals can make them as well. Overall, however, they are not ubiquitous in all plants and have a limited distribution in nature. Tropine alkaloids are characterized by a tropine ring in their chemical structure. Some prominent examples include atropine, scopolamine, hyosamine, and cocaine. Atropobelladona, also commonly known as the deadly nightshade, produces a racemic mixture of plus and minus hyosamine isomers, known as atropine. This plant is named after atropos, the Greek fate that cuts the thread of life, as the plant and this compound are both medicinal and poisonous, as the name implies. We'll get more into the pharmacological properties of atropine and other alkaloids in later lessons. Now let's discuss the pyridine piperidine alkaloids. Following reduction, the tertiary base pyridine is converted into the secondary base piperidine. The alkaloids included in this class are further divided into three groups based on their source. Piperidine derivatives, such as lobulene, nicotinic acid derivatives, such as arecoline, and derivatives of both pyridine and piperidine. For example, nicotine from the tobacco plant shown here, which contains a pyridine ring structure. Additional examples of bioactive compounds in this class include piperine and conine. Now let's go over pyrrolizidine alkaloids. These are chemically characterized by the presence of a reactive carbon, which contributes to their high level of hepatotoxic or liver toxic properties. Senesionine and retronicine from Groundsel, shown here, Senesio vulgaris in the Asteraceae family, are good examples of this. These are known to cause poisoning by liver injury to livestock that graze on the Groundsel. Comfrey, known by its scientific name of Symphodum officinale in the Boraginaceae family, likewise contains retronicine as well as symphotine, among other pyrrolizidine alkaloids. This alkaloid class is most commonly found in certain members of the following plant families, the Asteraceae, Boraginaceae, Fabaceae, and Orchidaceae. Let's go over quinoline alkaloids. The best known example of medically relevant quinoline alkaloid derivatives is that of quinine, which has re revolutionized the treatment of malaria until the malaria parasite eventually developed resistance to the drug. Quinine was isolated from the bark of cinchona species, native to South America, and also known as fever bark, shown here. In addition to quinine, a few other medically important quinoline alkaloids are also produced by the genus cinchona, and this includes quinidine, which is an isomer of quinine, cinchonine, and its isomer, cinchonidine. Now let's discuss isoquinoline alkaloids. These occur in a number of plant families, such as the Papaveraceae, Rubiaceae, Minispermiaceae, and Ranunculaceae families, among others. This class includes several highly important medicines, including the opiate alkaloids morphine and papaverine from the opium poppy that has a scientific name of Papaver somniferum in the Papaveraceae family. There's also imatine from the emetic or vomit-inducing plant of Ipecac, scientifically known as Cephalus epicacuana, found in the Rubiaceae family, and tubocurarine from the curare vine, or conodendron tomentosum, in the Minispermiaceae family. Other therapeutic isoquinoline alkaloids include hydrastine and berberine from golden seal, also known as Hydrastis canadensis in the Ranunculaceae family, 
and sanguinarine from bloodroot, known as Sanguinaria canadensis and the Papaveraceae family. Isoquinoline alkaloids vary in their activity from narcotic, anesthetic, emetic, and more. Now let's go over indole alkaloids. These are characterized by the presence of an indole ring in their structure. There are a number of medically important alkaloids in this class, including several poisons. For example, ingestion of the indole alkaloid strychnine, found in Strychnos nux vomica of the Loganiaceae family shown here, leads to death caused by respiratory failure. Physostigmine from Physostigma venenosum in the Fabaceae family has medicinal uses, such as for the treatment of glaucoma and as an antidote to poisoning by certain members of the Solanaceae family, plants like jimson weed or Datura stramonium and the deadly nightshade or Atropa belladona. However, overdose of this compound will result in cholinergic syndrome and can lead to respiratory and cardiac failure. Other examples of this class include vincristine and vinblastine from the Madagascar periwinkle, or Catharanthus roseus in the Apocynaceae family. These are used in cancer treatments for leukemia and Hodgkin's lymphoma. Next, let's cover imidazole alkaloids. This class is characterized by the presence of an imidazole ring. A prominent example of this class is pilocarpine, which is found in jabberandi, or pilocarpus jabberandi, in the rutaceae, or citrus family. It's also found in other species of the pilocarpus genus. Pilocarpine, shown here, is used to treat forms of glaucoma and dry mouth. Now let's cover a class of alkaloids that you're probably quite familiar with the purine or xanthine alkaloids. These are widely consumed as stimulants. One of the most prominent members of this class is caffeine, which is a central nervous system stimulant found in coffee, or cafe arabica in the rubiaceae family, tea, or camellia sinensis found in the TACE family, and yopon holly, or ilex vomitoria found in the aquafoliaceae family. Theophylline, which is another um, purine alkaloid, exhibits smooth muscle relaxant effects and is found in both tea and chocolate, also known as Theobroma cacao in the Malvaceae family. Theophylline is used in therapeutic applications for the treatment of respiratory diseases such as chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, or COPD, and asthma. Another purine alkaloid known as theobromine is likewise found in tea and chocolate and in fact is the most abundant alkaloid of chocolate. This exhibits vasodilatory and diuretic properties in humans, but can cause poisoning in dogs as they metabolize the compound much more slowly than humans do. Now let's cover the phenylalkamine alkaloids. Alkaloids in this group lack a cyclic nitrogen atom in their chemical structure, but they either have a free amine group or an alkyl substituted amine. A prominent example of this group includes ephedrine from the traditional Chinese medicinal plant Ma Huang, also known as Ephedra Seneca in the Ephedraceae family. Other examples include mescaline from the peyote cactus and colchicine from the autumn crocus. If you are a tea or coffee lover, you've reaped the benefits of xanthine alkaloids to kickstart your day. As you reflect on the myriad forms and functions of alkaloids, consider for a moment the different ways that these natural products have influenced different human cultures over the span of time.